gut microbes and autism. Cause or consequence? Scientists have been trying to figure out what causes autism, and some studies have suggested that the bacteria living our, in our guts, called the gut microbiome, may play a role. But in a recent study found that it's more complex. Researchers discovered that the food people eat with uh, autism may uh, be affecting the bacteria in their guts rather than the other way around. In other words, people with autism may have different gut bacteria because of their diet, not because of the disorder itself. It does not mean that the gut microbiome, which is the collection of the bacteria in our guts, um, have nothing to do with autism. Some studies have shown that certain gut bacteria are more common in people with autism than those without the disorder. But these studies may not entirely be reliable because it didn't always consider the factors like age, sex, diet that could affect the results. So while we still don't know much about the connection between the gut microbiome, the collection of the microbes in our guts, and autism, scientists are still working hard to figure it out. Hopefully, this will lead to new treatments and better understanding of this complex disorder. In a recent study published in the journal Cell, scientists analyzed the gut bacteria of 247 children including those with autism spectrum disorder. Their siblings without the diagnosis and unrelated children without a diagnosis either. The researchers found that the gut bacteria of children with autism did not differ significantly from those without the disorder. However, there were significant differences in the gut bacteria based on age, dietary preferences, and stool consistency. Uh, so your poop, the consistency of your poop. Uh, the researchers also found evidence suggesting that the differences in the gut bacteria of children with autism might be due to dietary preferences associated with the disorder rather than the gut bacteria causing autism. The study suggests that future studies on gut bacteria and autism should consider uh, dietary preferences and behavior to explain the diet-related causality in the microbiome analysis. Additionally, the study highlights the importance of dietary and nutritional interventions for people with neuropsychiatric conditions. Uh, however, the study has some limitations. Autism is a neurodevelopmental disorder that mainly affects the early development of the nervous system, and the establishment of gut bacteria is also included in this time window. The study's participants were mostly over three years of age, and only a few children were under three, which is a critical stage of autism pathogenesis, which means the disease uh, developing that turns into autism. So the participants also went underwent drug treatment and behavioral interventions, which might affect the results. Therefore, the researchers' negation of a direct association between autism and gut bacteria at all stages is debatable, and more studies are needed to explore these issues. Previous studies have shown that gut microbiomes during early life can impact a person's health and may contribute to later development of mental illnesses. In an earlier study, researchers transplanted gut bacteria from humans into autistic people in, uh, in germ-free mice, so not autistic people, but autistic uh, models that can be put into uh, uh, germ-free mice. So a lot of the times what they have to do when they study this, they can't study directly uh, humans because it would be unethical because they're destroying the, um, the mice in order to dissect and understand them medically and anatomically. So uh, getting back to this. Um, so this suggests that the intervention is based early 
on early life gut bacteria could hold potential uh, po could potentially reduce the burden of the disorder. Experimental inf interventions and early clinical trials targeting the microbiome have shown promise in managing autism. The gut-brain axis, which is the nerve bundle that attaches and gives information from the gut uh, all the way up to the uh, base stem of the brain, uh, the communication network between the gut and the brain is thought to be the mechanism by which the gut microbiome influences the development of autism. This is an active area of research and may lead to new treatments and better understanding of the disorder. Although uh, this study provides valuable information about the gut microbiome and autism, there are still challenges to understand the relationship between the two. The gut microbe, microbes uh, are highly diverse and influenced by many factors, making it difficult to control the individual and relationship, re, relational differences they, that may impact the identification of disease-related uh, microbe characteristics. While there is potential for links between autism and the gut microbes, it is still unclear whether the gut microbiome determines, uh, de yeah, determines the drivers or products of the underlying disease. Future studies should carefully analyze the impact of disease-specific behaviors and dietary preferences on the gut microbes and the condition of early life microbiome should be better understood. More significant, well-designed studies are necessary to overcome potential biases and better understand the relationship between the gut microbes and autism. So with this, uh, it's unclear, but they're getting more clear about the facts that it may be that um, because autism is uh, one of the keys is repetitive, and a lot of the times what happens with uh, people that have autism is they pick favorite foods and they eat those favorite foods and they rinse, repeat, do it all over again. So what may happen is that because they're eating only specific foods, they're not getting a wide variety of uh, microbes. And when they get a disease-causing microbe, that can throw everything off because they have a limited source of good microbes that can fight off the bad microbes. And whereas somebody with a wide variety of, of foods in their diet have a better way of fighting off the disease-causing bacteria. Also, there are um, what they were finding is that because of the gut um, the brain gut microbe uh, influencing the uh, gut brain nerve bundle axis. What can happen is uh, you can obviously, well, everybody knows how they feel when they uh, have an upset stomach. They usually have foggy head, uh, headaches, migraines. They just feel generally blah. And it isn't specific to the gut, it affects the whole entire body. But that's because the microbes are sending signals to the brain that the gut is having difficulty. So, and then that's going to affect the signals and the production of the good feeling uh, neurochemicals be, that are normally produced and not being able to be produced in, in good enough numbers uh, when somebody has a gut infection. So there needs to be a lot more stuff looked at, but this is a more interesting article because it isn't as simple as you can just take a probiotic and then all of a sudden you get rid of your autism symptoms. It's not as simple as that. So uh, with that, uh, this has been Dan, and this is Finding Your Hidden Superpower, Autism, Asperger's, and Those of Us Who Are Neurodiverse. Please link, click, subscribe, and let people know. And uh, I thank you, and have a good evening.